That's once in a lifetime. You little beauty. Unfreaking real. I mean, how cool of a day is this? Yeah, it doesn't get no better. Hey folks, how you doing? Cambo Trout here. If you haven't already, please like this video. It's free and it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. If you missed my video from last week, that's where I got my first snakehead on drone video with Fish and Hunt Maryland. And if you like these kind of videos of crabbing and fishing, check out my other video that I have where I was catching some of the biggest, heaviest crabs of my life and again getting blasted on top water with striper. So for today's video, I got something really special for you, man. It's a true blue crab. I also have some topwater striper action and some catch and cook action. All the blue crabs we caught, we got about two bushels on the day pretty quickly. Great day of crab. But anyway, for this true blue crab, very, very rare catch. Most guys catch maybe one in a lifetime of crabbing. You know, it's phenomenal. Couldn't believe it. But also, before we get into that, I wanted to explain to you what actually a true blue crab is, because I didn't know. Now, if you want to skip the science part of this, no problem. I'll put a time mark in here where you can skip to to get to the rest of the video. But if you're curious about why they get this blue coloration, well, it's actually just a very rare genetic variation. Now there actually are some other types of blue crabs that have been found. For instance, there have been purple ones found. And I'll leave a link to where I got this photo off the internet. But the purple ones are a result of a parasite, an infection. But the blues are not. The blues, like the true blue crabs, similar to the albinos, that's just a very rare genetic variation. So just an interesting tidbit that I picked up. I'll leave a link to where I got the information that came from the Virginia Institute of Marine Science. I'll leave that in the description as well in case you're curious. So that's it, no more intro, let's get to the video. I thought so, all right. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Quick tip here folks, as you're pulling in the lines on these traps, don't let them go into the bucket where the crabs are being dropped off. Odds are one's gonna grab it, <laughs> and then you got a real mess to untangle. There you go. Now for bait today, we're using razor clams. For the equipment that you need to actually use razor clams, check the video description. That's a dark one there. Oh, whoa. Oh boy, he came right at it, but it turned off the last second. Ah, uh. yeah, bro, yes, hell yes, that's a nice fish, dude. Yeah, dude, that's a nice one. Oh, you need help landing him? Yeah, I got you, dude. I'm ready. To, that's a nice fish, dude. I'm ready to tail him. Here we go, bro. That's the way to start a day. He's all trussed up. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. There we go. I know, dude. It's so much fun when the striper hits top. Oh, oh, oh god, that was close, dude. <laughs> you almost made it, buddy. You almost made it. There you go. That's a nice, look at the back on it. That's a healthy fish, dude. That's solid fillets right there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, one on you. Yep. Yes. He hit big. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I cast it behind me. <laughs> yeah, I am, dude. I'm messing up silly stuff now. Oh yeah, dude. There's fish all over it. Yeah, I'll probably let her go. Yeah, she's a little bit short. A little bit short. Come here. 
she hit like a tank though. She did, dude. Look how fat she is. That hit was loud. There you go. All right, little chunk. Yoink. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're up to eight so far. It's not a bad run. Yes. Oh boy. Look at that. I think it was tied. Might have been. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you are. There you are. Now, crabbing regulations change throughout the year in Maryland based on the time of year, so make sure you're up to date on that. Link in the description. That's, that's a good strike. Man, they are feisty this time of year. You can tell they're coming out of cool water. They're feisty. They're eating good. Y'all eat real good. All right, little chunk. <laughs> I'm switching to the bomber. <laughs> Can't beat them rattles, man. <laughs> Welcome to the party there, sir. Oh, that feels good. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Just trying to get that jelly. I feel kind of good. Yes, sir. Oh. Not bad, dude. <laughs> got me the side ahead. I got myself, now I got you, dude. This is a way better run. Yeah, it is. Oh, our there. first suck. Get that out of here. Now, a fourth crabbing tip here, folks. The depth you're crabbing at is extremely important. We were catching most of ours today between about 12 to about 13 feet. This time of year, that seems to be a good depth to crab at as the crabs move a little bit deeper as the water begins to cool. Oh, just like that. <laughs> oh, good fish. oh, man. <laughs> Can't have pride when you're fishing, man. You gotta get the fish what they want. <laughs> I told you an hour ago to put one up. I know you did. <laughs> uh, that's a good fish. That's that's probably a, that's probably worth keeping right there. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yep. Come here, little beauty. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, I know. You rascal. You little fatty too. Gotcha. Ugh. Oh, nope. None of that. She smacked the crap out of it. Now the striper bite today, the loud rattles in this lure were crucially important. It also walked the dog like a champ. But we weren't really working at that fast a cadence. It was really more that walk the dog action and that rattle it was killer there you are put you in the basket for now fatty. big old fatty what i feel good yeah buddy yeah buddy now one of the great note here when you're crabbing you want to leave a little bit of slack in your line for waves meaning you want to have some line probably about two to three feet that won't be affected it won't pull the trap tight when those big waves go by because if those big waves do go by and it's under tension it could scare the crabs right out of the trap. No, we got something. We got something. Thought I felt you. Folks, aside from a run of 18, runs of 12, 14, look at that. A true blue, baby. Yeah, yeah dude. One. You want to let him go or keep him? I think we should probably let him go. I think should let him go too. Rare, yeah, dude. we'll let him go. A true blue. I want to hold him too and get pictures. Yeah, dude. It's photo time. Let's get into it. Yep. Come here. Oh, he's strong. I love that. Oh my god. Let's see him real quick. Look at the pink tips. Oh, that's cool, dude. It's like an albinoism. Yep. I'm trying to. Look at that. 
Unreal. That is freaking cool, dude. Here, get a picture of me holding it. All right. His claws even kind of different. See how his claws long? Yeah, dude. All right, bro. You ready? Yeah. Got you, dude. Okay, I'm just picking up. Gotcha. What up? Yeah, dude. That's once in a lifetime. You little beauty. On freaking real. I mean, how cool of a day is this? Yeah, it doesn't get no better. All right. All right, let's let him go away from this. Yep. I don't want that crap to die. It's just too rare. That's once in a lifetime. Damn, what a day, dude. What a day. Look at that. That's the prettiest crap I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. All right, True Blue, you live to fight another day. You got to appreciate a crab like that, folks. Go ahead now. Yeah. Now, folks, we caught a lot more crabs out here, and I do mean a lot. If you're looking for more tips on crabbing, make sure you check out my 10 crabbing tips video, as well as the last video I already told you about, which was more crabbing at this <laughs> same location and some awesome striper action. But do please note, I'm not going to be giving up this exact location. My buddy's put in a lot of work to find it, and I, I just couldn't do that to him, number one. Number two, it's fairly small water. If this place was discovered and well-known, these crabs would get fished out. But moving on from that point, let's get to the catch and cook. Now, when it comes to actually steaming the crabs, what we like to use is primarily water inside of our very large crab steaming pot. But we also add some apple cider vinegar. It gives it a fantastic flavor. Now, as far as steaming them goes in terms of time, I usually do it between about 23 up to about 26 minutes, depending on how many crabs are in the pot. And for the seasoning, you can't go wrong with J.O.'s seasoning then. <laughs> if y'all have one out there that y'all prefer over J.O.'s seasoning, let me know and I'll give it a shot. But man, that's a tough hill to climb because J.O.'s seasoning is fantastic. But right here, you can get a shot at my Rugrats reacting <laughs> to seeing the crabs escape the pot here and now. Hold up, check out this crab. Hi. Monster! 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 Why are you on my counter? The crabs are nowhere near you. I can stand right here. Get off my counter. I just want to try to get out right there. Daddy, what happened there? Okay, stop. I got it. Daddy, mommy, let me try to catch a long yak. Ah! Oh, <laughs> get it! He won't stand. Okay, we got him now. We got him. Really? Sir, you are just walking towards the stove. Oh, I'm about to get it. He'll get it. Daddy, you're bringing all your Get that leg. leg. Hey, look, my pepperoni actually. They're all huge. Oh my god. Get out of my furniture! 